Welcome to Adaptive Recognition How-To Video Series. In this video, you'll see how Adaptive Recognition ID readers can read the RFID chip embedded into ID cards and passports. There are two things needed for successful RFID reading. A document that includes RFID chip and an ID reader or model to contain RFID antenna. Open Full Page Reader. Switch on RFID Vertical tab in order to enable RFID reading. For complete RFID check, press Select All button. To disable all of them, press Select None. Select the authentication processes that you desire to complete. Select the required data group in order to read them. Please note that the DG1 contains MRZ, DG2 contains face photo, and DG3 contains the fingerprint. For MRZ and face photo cross checks, make sure DG1 and DG2 are switched on. You can also set the maximum airspeed. The most typical is 848 kilobytes per second. If you need to add a certificate, use Load Certificate. Certificates are loaded automatically if they're stored in the following folder. Here, you can see the supported certificate formats. In order to compare the printed face photo with the face photo stored in the RFID DG2, enable Compare Face. RFID detection is a feature to check if there is actually an RFID chip in the document. By clicking the button, a window displays. Now put a document into the scanner. When the antenna senses the presence of the chip, chip information appears in the window. Now navigate to the RFID tab and make a scan. On the bottom line, you can see what RFID authentications are being processed at the moment. Switch to the Summary tab to view the comparison result. Now, let's see how RFID checks are present in the Summary tab. Look at Status section. The green Passed message means that the marked authentications work properly. Blue status messages are to inform you if an authentication process is not passed for some reason. It does not mean an error, for example, if a certificate is not available. The yellow undetermined message means that the conformity is not so high, but still not critical. The reason is that in specimen, the face comparison results a weak level of similarity due to specimen caption on the printed photo. Note that red status messages always highlight a key data error. For example, if the document has expired or if there is a checksum mismatch error. In this case, the general status is failed. Thank you for watching. For staying updated, make sure to subscribe to our channel.